Let's do this. <sighs> hey everybody, Bionic Dance here. So, because everyone and their hamster is not going to fucking let me alone until we talk about it, let's get it over with. So, Disney is apparently acquiring Lucasfilm for four point something billion dollars. Like, 4.8 or 4.08 or I don't remember. I think there was an 8 in there somewhere. Regardless, um... How do I feel about this? Because everyone wants to know. Because everyone in their hamster knows that I am a weapons-grade Star Wars fan. Have been since I was very small. Would have been since birth, but I predate the trilogy. Uh, you know, well, predate the saga, really. But, you know, there's a lot of folks out there who are trilogy purists. Or who, like me, are saga purists. I choose not to acknowledge too terribly much outside of the six movies. There are some who, who won't acknowledge uh, anything outside of the original trilogy. Um, I'm actually okay with uh, the prequels. Um, granted, no, I don't much care for Jar Jar, but I'm actually... Uh, I'm okay with, with the, the prequels, kind of. No, I don't like them as much as the original trilogy, but they're not that bad. They're really not. If you can ignore Jar Jar, there's not a lot about them that's really all that screamingly horrible. There's really not. But, you know, I, I just think that audiences have become a lot more cynical and a lot more jaded. So, uh, honestly, um, I, you know, I mean, okay, no, they're not as good. They're not as good. No, they're not. But, but honestly, I, I do think that people have gotten a lot pickier. If those prequels had come out back in, in 1977 uh, and 80 and 83 with, with you know, like, like the effects of that era... Um, I think people would have liked them as much as the original trilogy. I really do. I think tastes have changed. I think uh, the, the problem really is that they came out in the wrong era. But regardless, um, how, do, how do I feel about Disney acquiring Star Wars? Uh, well, I'm not really sure because... They may ruin it, and they may not. They may actually, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I really am in wait and see mode. The truth is I don't want to talk about it that much. Um, the fact is that for me, Star Wars has kind of been off course uh, since the prequels, honestly, it has. Because ever since the prequels, it's been nothing but Jedi Sith, Jedi Sith, Force users, Force users. For me, the thing I loved best about Star Wars was not the Jedi, was not Force users. Okay, look at my tattoo right here. Look at this right here, huh? What is that? Rebel Alliance. The thing I liked best about Star Wars was the X-Wings, was the rebellion, was the fight for freedom against the tyrannical empire. And actually, if you look at the original trilogy, okay, the, the, the Skywalker family spat was only part, was only a, a, a tiny part of what was going on with the Star Wars saga. It wasn't until the prequels that the focus really shifted. And I always thought that the prequels should have been mostly, mostly about the, the build-up of the Empire and the, the fomenting of unrest, uh, building up into a rebellion against this, this Empire that was, was slowly eating the galaxy. And it ended up really being about the build-up to the Skywalker family spat. And that disappointed me a lot. The rebellion seems to have been forgotten. Um, and if, if Disney can um, remember the rebellion, which they won't do, 
But if they could, I'd be like, whoa, that's awesome. That's what I really want. Um, some of you may remember, I this was totally my bad. And to those of you who think that I can never admit a mistake, this was completely my fucking bad. So fuck you, I can admit a mistake. I clicked the wrong shit and ended up deleting a couple of pages worth of my own videos. Oops, I'm a dumbass, okay? This is me admitting a mistake. Dumbass, right here. Me, idiot, okay? I can admit a mistake. Point is, I deleted a shit ton of videos, and one of them was my unfinished Star Wars fan film. I found it uh, in on like a disc somewhere. Maybe I still have it. Maybe I should upload it. But um, it was an all CGI, toon shaded fan film that I had started making and never finished. It was almost a half hour long, and um, it, it was it was all about this group of rebels that had gone to this this planet out on the outer rim and uh it, it was set like in between um a new hope and empire basically and they were going recruiting trying to get uh uh this this planet into the rebellion trying to get their help and uh these rebels show up just as the Empire shows up and hilarity ensues, basically. But what they don't realize, what nobody realizes, is that this planet actually has a history where um, basically it was, it was like, uh, well, it's, it's hard to explain, but, but the, the point is that, that it, was, it was nearly this half hour long fan film. And like I say, I should re-upload it, but that is the kind of fucking story I want to see out of Disney. And actually, if I re-uploaded it, and if someone knows somebody and they could show it to somebody, it'd make a hell of a treatment, you know, for like, like a real screenplay. I, I bet that's the kind of, I mean, that is the kind of movie that I'd love to see out of like, like Lucasfilm, whoever owns it, I don't care. But, but that's not what they do. If it doesn't have lightsabers, if it doesn't have force, no one wants it anymore. Not really, because that's not what Star Wars has become. No one cares about the Rebellion. They really don't. But that's what I want to see out of Star Wars. So, how do I feel about Disney acquiring Lucasfilm? At this point, I don't care. I mean, I love Star Wars, but what I love is the saga. The six movies. The expanded universe has turned into something that I haven't cared about for a long time. Because the part I care about is the rebellion. And that's not what anybody gives a shit about anymore. So, I mean, seriously, even the fan base. I try to talk to the fan base, the other Star Wars fans, the people who should be my peers. And they don't give a shit. I mean, even the people who don't want to talk about Jedi and Sith seem to care so much more about the, the Empire, the bad guys. You know, and again, I got the rebels on me like permanently etched into my skin. I'm a Wedge Antilles fan. I love Rogue Squadron, you know, and you're finding people who are going around talking Imperial Walkers and shit. You know, I half of the gag pictures you find on, on uh, Facebook or the, the, the cosplayers are in Stormtrooper gear. You know, it's hard to find an X-Wing pilot cosplayer. Not that I go cosplaying or anything, but, but you know, um, well, I mean, actually, <laughs> mildly, well, no, it's not even embarrassing. Hell, I'm proud of this shit. But, but some of you know that I do this thing called the Fremont Solstice Parade, um, it's, which is traditionally begun every year by being crashed by several hundred naked, body-painted cyclists. Um, but I'm usually on rollerblades because I don't own a bike, and I love my rollerblades. So, what was it, uh, two or three years ago, I guess? Uh, I had painted myself as an X-Wing pilot, and I'm on my rollerblades, you know, as an X-Wing pilot. This is me rollerblading, I guess. Um, you know, but, uh, yeah, so, I guess, technically, that's cosplay, I guess. I don't know. Point is that, um, you know, I seem to be in a very tiny, tiny minority when it comes to Star Wars fandom. Uh, I, I, I love 
uh, you know, explicitly the saga. I prefer rebellion era, and I prefer the rebels to the empire. That is such a small demographic of Star Wars. I am so not who anybody caters to, right? So, you know, if if I'm not the market base, if I'm not who anyone actually like markets to, if I'm not the one that, that anyone cares about, if I'm not the one that films get made to, well, you know, I, I mean, what am I going to get enthusiastic about, you know? And if there's nothing out there for me to get enthusiastic about, be it video games or movies or anything, I mean, I mean, yeah, sure, they make X-Wing versus TIE Fighter games, but I want something with a little more meat to it, a little more story. I mean, something beyond a flight sim would be nice. Um, you know, or an MMO. I mean, screw an MMO. I want, I want like a good, a good meaty RPG, like, uh, like the Knights of the Old Republic series, but Rebellion era would be really nice. But they don't make that. So if I'm never catered to in that way as a Star Wars fan, well, you know, I guess all that's left is either for me to make my own, you know, like, like fan-made stuff, like a fan film or something, or to just every now and then take out the Holy Trilogy and watch it, you know? I mean, what else is there for me to get enthusiastic about? So unless Disney, you know, actually hears this plea and makes that for me, well, why should I give a shit about them acquiring Lucasfilm? Why should I care? Anyway, um, that's pretty much my final word on this. Uh, people are gonna want to know what I have to say. Uh, I've already gotten quite a lot of, of people asking me what I think on Facebook, and a few people on, on YouTube have sent me private messages asking me to talk about it, and I'm like, uh, fine, I'll make a video, shut up, you know. Um, yeah, anyway, so uh, I figure here, this is me telling you. Until next time, fellow space travelers, this is Bionic Dance saying, may the force be with you. Please take the time to rate this video. And hey, if you dig what I do, subscribe. And please visit my Sazzle store, where you'll find all kinds of Bionic Dance merchandise. Vote me down and I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine.